This video is for new black conservatives. I am happy to see so many of you coming out as conservative. This is a beautiful thing and I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Welcome to the right side of history. You've done your research and you found out the lies that you've been spoon fed about your identity and where you stand in America were all just lies. Now let me prepare you for the long uphill battle that you have to face. Do not have political discussions with family or friends. It's gonna get you nowhere. You gotta understand that not everybody is on your level yet. You will find yourself frustrated when you talk to them and they regurgitate the same talking points. You will also find yourself disgusted whenever you find yourself being called names and it seems like the only default that you could be called by black Democrats is Coon, Sellout, Uncle Tommy, you know the rest of the names. But do not be as arrogant to think that everybody that's around you with your pigmentation is dumb. That is a slippery slope. Yes, you will form a racial bias, especially from the frustration that you will feel when trying to conduct an adult conversation. This is the part where you gotta remember where you come from. You weren't always where you are. And there are some dumbasses on this side of the political aisle as well who hates you just because of the color of your skin, just like they hated you on the other side. You gotta realize that your political choosing is for you, not anybody else. And if you run across bigots on this side of the aisle, you just have to remember one thing. Not everybody on this side of the aisle are bigots, but there are more bigots on the left than there are the right. I'm not justifying racial bigotry by any means. However, you gotta understand two things. The bigots on this side of the aisle are very few and far between, and at least the bigots on this side of the aisle are at least honest. The bigots on the side of the aisle that you just left are not only racist but paternalistic, and they have other black people using names towards you and about you that the racist of old used about you and towards you. I'm only preaching to the choir when I tell you how much the Democratic Party finessed black people to marrying their racial identity with their political party. And once again, not only do I want to welcome you, but I want to give you a healthy congratulations for divorcing yourself from the counterproductive racial pride and hurt conformity. Me personally, I'm not looking for my race, I'm looking for my tribe, and my tribe comes in all races. Counterproductive racial pride is a mental illness no matter which race is practicing it.